Hi, I'm Jewel Starsinger and today we're going to have drunk astrology because I had two glasses of wine and guess what? Uh, it's really good. I'm a little tipsy. I put on the makeup. See, I put on the eye makeup. There it is. Okay. Anyway, and I got to thinking, I got to watching whose line is it anyway? And it's always a bunch of guys who are really funny. And um, they do improv. And the principle of improv is yes and. So in other words, the person comes to me and says, um, I'm on a trip and I'm a, uh, I'm, a, I'm a tall person, I'm a guy, I have a, uh, a limp and a, uh, I'm wearing a tall old fashioned hat. And then the next person goes, yes, and I'm your partner and I am a, a fluffy cat with a missing tooth and I don't, they just make shit up as they go. But the point is when the one person says who they're, what they're doing, the other person says okay to that and here's some more to go with it, right? That's improv. So I like it because it's very pro-lifey. It's in flowy, it's flowy, flowy, flowy. And this is what Jupiter in its best um, position does. It's very flowy. Jupiter is the planet of um, improv. And, you know, Jupiter is justice. It's Zeus, the god Zeus. And um, he's a thunder god. He makes a lot of noise. You know when he's around. But what he does is he's on the side of mercy. Mercy and justice. And so this is, uh, do you like my glasses? <laughs> I gotta have some more of this. I'm not drunk enough yet. Drunk astrology. Oh, that was good. <laughs> that was good. Okay. Mm. I spilled on my shirt. Oh yeah. See, that's typical for Venus and Aries. Venus and Aries, that's me. I'm just a silly pudding. I'm a I'm a girl brute. There we go. I'm cute, I'm smart, but oh boy, do I break shit. <laughs> Anyway, back to Jupiter. Enough about me. All right. Um, I don't know if this works. I fucking don't know anything right now because I'm a little tipsy. Anyway, drug astrology. So Jupiter. So I got to, here we go. I've got to go back to um, what I just wrote. Should I share the screen? Let's share it. See what I wrote. Is it there? That's Chrome. Let's see. Where am I? Oh, uh, should I pause? Fuck if I know. Let's see if that's it. <laughs> Do you ever drink wine? It's amazing. It makes you silly. I, I needed to be silly because everything is way too serious right now. And I just needed to be silly because it could be an earthquake in a minute that just devastates everything and causes horrible problems, suffering and all that kind of shit. All right. So what I said here, my little, my deal here, can you see it? is my people don't know me because I watch them on TV. They are so funny. I get their humor and appreciate their willing inventiveness. I love these guys. They are my people. I do not know them personally. They are an illusion to me. Screen images and sounds that make me laugh and allow connection. At least I think I feel connected. Oh, I love, oh look, I, I did a typo. I love them. They are funny men with humor and skill. They are improvs. Yes, and that is their credo. Yes, and I'm adopting this credo as much as I can being a woman because I have this whole woman like judgmental woman thing. Anyway, um, some women don't, but a lot of us do. Anyway, um, so the good credo for everyday life, they are Jupiterian men. Their humor and uh, mercy is bountiful. Oh, <laughs> so I read you right, Jewel. Beautiful. They are justice personified. Say, so I just wrote this in a moment, in a drunken moment of, oh, whatever, like, oh, fill me up with words. Um, okay. I want to hang around with them and then learn to be as they. I said that old fashioned like you like it. I want to be as they, as joy, as love, as acceptance, rolling with it being the change. They are beautiful people. These men are my people. Uh, sometimes they are women, meaning these people, but usually they're men because the character, the trope, 
the archetype for a freewheeling jester in this is this fellow who moves through every gate with a benevolent attitude. <laughs> He's just as personified because he does not judge, because judging is not justice. Justice is where the real truth, the fairness thing comes out. Fairness thing. <laughs> I guess it's good. I'm not drunk enough though. Anyway, so my people are men of Jupiter. They take me on expeditions away from the stone that was holding me so still. That stone that holds me down. Because I, as a woman and as a Sun Saturn person, I'm just too goddamn serious. <laughs> I just like bore myself, fucking bore myself to tears at times because I'm so serious. And these guys with their yes and, you see, that's Jupiter. They are so cool. So these are my people. Anyway, so my Jupiter in my chart says Jupiter in Pisces at the top of the chart. Do you see it? Shh, wait a minute. Let me go. Wait, where are we? Stop share. Oh, fuck. I'm running this shit, man. But I need an assistant, don't I? <laughs> I need an assistant. Someone to do this tech, tech stuff. Okay, pause. Be right back. Okay, so I'll show you my Jupiter in my chart. Here we go. Sharing that screen. There we go. There I am. So that's me. And that's my chart. And here we go. I'm going to write on it for you. This is so cool, the zoomy shit. I tell you what, it's very cool. This is unprofessional, exactly as I want it to be. Because honestly, production values and all that means I've got money behind me and I fucking don't. And that's the whole point of it is to not have any fucking money because what you have is heart and I have is heart. Okay, I'm drawing. <laughs> so serious. Okay, let's see. I like the arrow. Let's do the arrow. Here we go. So there's Jupiter. Oh, I don't need the arrow. All right, never mind. Let me let me do the circle. This is more fun than I can tell you. There we go. There's my Jupiter in Pisces. There, do it again, <laughs> this is fun. All right, there we go. See, that's my Jupiter in Pisces. So what it says is that I really need to be the person to tell you about my spiritual journey. And telling you about my spiritual journey will help you understand your own. Because I'm just like a, a channel. I'm like a wire that the electricity goes through and so I get to do all this weird stuff and be weird and people think I'm nuts, like my children think I'm crazy. They call me Crazy Jewel, but what they don't understand is that I'm just willing to play the fool. So Jupiter in Pisces is the jester who doesn't mind being looking foolish to make a point. Oh, I'm getting serious. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Poor one. There's not much left, just a little bit left. Anyway, so I started writing this thing about Jupiter in Pisces because I watched that show called um, Whose Line Is It Anyway? Where all these men get on, sometimes there's a lady, but usually it's just men, doing um, improv. And they do this, yes, and. So I say to you, I'm going to do this, and you say, yes, and I'm going to build on it. It's like that, um, they call it the exquisite corpse drawing, where you draw a person, one person draws the head on a paper, and then they fold it back, and then the next person draws the body on the paper, right? And then they fold that back, you know, leaving little marks to see. And then the third person draws the legs and feet, and then they open it up, and there is a weird drawing. So that's what improv is. And guess what? I think that really describes what life is. So in other words, we're all improv all the time. And what we need to do is stop judging each other about how you play the game and just play along. Play the fuck along. That's what I'm trying to say. And I had to get drunk to really be able to articulate properly because guess what? My Jupiter is in the sign of the drunks. Jupiter and Pisces. Pisces are the drunks. 
Pisces is the energy, it's, no, it's the sign that represents a boundlessness. And the way you get out of the bounds of society and your brain and all the bullshit that holds you in, un, under a stone is you get fucking drunk. And when you do that, boom, you get to be more relaxed and you don't give a shit so much about people telling you you're right or wrong. And that's what Jupiter and Pisces does. It's like, well, let's just play. Well, let me play with you now. And let me let you know that you're okay. I'm okay. And we just need to play along with each other from time to time. And stop worrying so fucking much about being right. My favorite thing from the car guys years ago, and I don't know where that came from from them, but it did. It came from somebody. And everything comes from something else. Keep that in mind because nobody is the owner of any fucking thing. Everybody shares in everything. We all fucking have ideas that we share through the fucking ether, okay? So get over yourself. Just because I figured it out in my little brain doesn't mean it didn't come from a million other brains too and get shot into my brain today because I got to be the one to say it. You see what I'm saying? Okay, where do I go with that? <laughs> this is great. Okay. Anyway, um, I can't go back to where I was because I fucking forgot. But that's the whole point of yes and, you see, it's because yes and, okay, I'm playing with myself now because fucking I don't have anybody to play with because I'm alone in my goddamn room. So anyway, that's enough of that. But wasn't this fun? I think it was fun. I hope so. I, was, I hope it was fun for you. Drunk Astrology uh, might turn into one of my favorite games. Where's my goddamn cursor? I've got two screens here. I'm just like an old lady pedaling as fast as I can. Uh, trying to figure shit out before I croak. <laughs> Working on it. Working on it. Okay. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.